This is uh, January 4th of 2014. We're here working on the uh, installation of the electric motor drive for this hot engine. Um, what we're trying to do here today is determine where the center line of the crankshaft is uh, the best I can do with what I have available. So what I did is I ran a string along the top of the engine, anchored it on the uh, high pressure side uh, crank cover all the way over onto the new oil platform and dropped four uh, plumb bobs off of that. One above each um, each main, uh, main bearing cover, another one here, and another one here out at the wall. And by doing this, I was able to project that center line out here to the wall and determine that, um, you know, about, uh, about 60 inches away from the uh, column there. So now using that information, that will help me uh, determine where this pillow block has to go in here. And it, um, it'll come out, the center line of that will be about right here. And then the, uh, the gearbox will sit here and the motor will sit about right here. And the plan is to uh, cut out some of this foundation out of this slab, cut the slab out and dig this down to the footer level uh, and pour new walls in here and turn this into the, uh, to the oil sump. And on that side there, put the concrete block in which will be tied into the main foundation to support the, uh, the pillow block and the gearbox. Um, so today I'm just trying to figure this stuff out, get everything drawn up, do all the dimensions, check all the dimensions, and make sure that, um, that when we design this, we're not forgetting anything. Uh, okay, here's a little update. Um, this is about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I spent most of the day here doing figuring and measuring and remeasuring and trying to figure this thing out. Um, got some lines drawn here. The line you see over here by the engine, uh, parallel to the engine, that is 12 inches away from the bed plate and that's the line that the concrete forms are going to take up. So if we walk forward here, so from that line over will be concrete. It will be concrete all the way up to, uh, all the way up to about right here and down. And all that underneath about, uh, I think it's like 38 inches or so. That'll all be filled with concrete and rebar and, um, you know, be doweled into the uh, slab pretty good. Now we get over here and it jogs out. Uh, we got some close clearances here. I'll have 48 and a half inches between the column and the form when I'm done. Uh, the man lift's 48 inches wide, so we should be able to squeeze through. And then coming out here, it jogs over and then this is as far as I made it. So coming around back, I should walk towards the back end again. Okay, now this line that cuts across, that's the center line of the crankshaft and matches up with my uh, crankshaft mark over there. The other line here is the, um, uh, this is what needs to be cut out uh, about a foot about eight, or eight inches to a foot off of the slab. It needs to be cut out to make way for the, uh, uh, the block that the, uh, the pillow block is going to sit on and also to make room for the, uh, the sump, the oil sump. So starting about right here uh, in this area here will be a block of concrete uh, seven feet by about four feet by uh, say about five or six feet deep. Uh, reinforced and then that's what the um, the drive will all sit on and then back in here this will be dug out about another foot and a half or so two feet um, and then a wall uh, formed up in here a floor poured and that'll give me about four foot four inches by nine feet by eh, about three three feet deep which will be the uh, the oil sump so I've got some you know, clearance issues here too with the fall because if you can see over there under the, uh, um, the bed plate, 
that's one of the main oil drains and there's one at the same elevation on the other side so it's going to run its way around the engine with a little bit of fall so it'll end up over here just a little bit lower than that elevation and it has to get into this pit um, with, an, with enough of a fall so that you know, the, uh, the tank that's in there can act as a settling tank to settle the free water out of the oil. Um, so, you know, you're trying to, I'm trying to work here with uh, very shallow um, dimensions and see what I, can, what I can come up with on this. Now, in the back here, I haven't quite figured this out yet, but uh, this, this little four inch slab, it goes across, that was a uh, temporary that I put in a few years ago just so we could store stuff back here. That all gets pulled back out and uh, that'll be dug down actually about two feet or so um, all the way back and then we'll run dowel pins into the slab on the, on the left here and then dowel pins into that wall and then the form for the engine will come back and there'll be like three steps. It'll step down to the elevation of the top of the wall uh, up to the elevation of the, um, uh, the bottom of the bed plate. And all that will be filled in with concrete and um, you know, rebarred and dialed in. And basically this back here, uh, this little bit extra depth acts like a concrete beam to help tie both sides of the engine together so that you know with this very shallow foundation that we're going to have that we still have enough um, rigidity in it so that both sides of the engine doesn't want to uh, you know settle unevenly because the problem we have in this engine is we've got this giant 20-foot flywheel just cutting a hole you know cutting a slice right down through the middle of the foundation if one for a flywheel this would be very easy to do but since we have a flywheel basically this you know three foot by 20 foot um, slice taken out of the middle of this foundation we've got to work around it. So that's uh, that's the progress we've made so far today. Um, next step is getting concrete saw in once it gets above freezing uh, so we can use the you know the wet concrete saw to cut that out and then to get the uh, get all of us in here to start digging this gravel out. So um, stay tuned for, uh, for additional updates. I'm going to keep doing this as we do this project. Um, I'll come out here and just you know, um, you know, tell you a little bit about what we're doing here on this project so everybody in YouTube land can, uh, uh, can also keep apprised of the project as we get this uh, Todd engine restored for its uh, 100th birthday this year.